Henry's an old friend, needed the coin. And I decided we needed new placards to promote the opening performance. Seats won't fill themselves, you know. There's three ladies going in a circle behind the screen, and they're all I'll the same. I'll see Rothleck. You head back to the Rosemary, or Priscilla will have my head. Really? You'd go? No, said that for the hell of it. Tell me where he lives. Portside. See you soon. Portside. That's all you need to know. Yeah. No dress, no nothing. <laughs> hey, beggar. Hey, Cocker! You say me Cocker? I'm not no Cocker Spaniel. I don't know what these people are calling me anymore. Pamper Ram. Pamper Ram. Pam -pam -ram. You must make more as a mama than you do. You're right. Now, with the wool on, you're daft. Any man will tell you that. We'll see. Not the post of the notice. Just might find a man brave enough. You, go back to your rocking chair. Aye, uh, right. A witcher? Oh. Hear about the notice by chance? Yeah. Not quite, but what's it about? I hear right, you're going on some voyage, need a companion. Not just some voyage, cross the sea. Mark this. When I got pressed into the infantry in 1242, I promised my beloved Let I'd return alive, whole, and with a pearl from Skellige. Not just any pearl either, a black one, the rarest and most precious. Okay. Well, well. Ambitious. Perhaps. But they were empty words. I came from the war. That one, and the next. But I never fulfilled my promise. High time to change that. Or if not now, then when? Okay. Thing is, I've grown old in the meantime, as you see. Can't manage it alone. Need a strong shoulder to lean on. Which your shoulders as strong as they come. So, what do you say? I'm willing to help. I'm willing to do this for you. Sounds crazier than it is sane. But there's an irresistible charm to it. Offer me some pay and I'll help you out. Don't you fret about coin. I brought home a good deal of it from various fronts. Say we meet in Skellige, by the collapsed bridge near Arenbjorn. It's but a hop away from the bed where black pearls are born. Will that work for you? Sounds fine. See you there. Yeah. Sounds good. We got a quest already in Skellige. We got two now. Skellige's fucking beautiful but convoluted. I didn't spend a lot of time doing quests there. It's just doing a lot. Whoa, what's going on? You guys don't look like painters. Looking for Rothlick. You ain't alone. Damn halflings in debt to half the city. But I'm here to scrape mine for the carcasses pit clean. Not enough for everyone, so bugger off. Feeding times first come, first serve. <gasps> I just want some placards, man. Take what you want. I'm just here for some placards. You deaf. Didn't you hear me? This is all mine now. Fuck off, freak. The fuck is wrong with you? <sighs> and here I thought we'd resolve this peacefully. Oh, okay, I wanted to do some magic, but I guess I just can't do that. Okay, fucking... Okay, what the fuck is going on? Yeah, I'm gonna start using some, uh... Well, I can't even... Whatever. It's okay. I'm just gonna be super basic. Go like a butterfly, sting like a bee. Oh! Knockout. Knockout. Said I get the high ground. There ain't no plowing placards here. And Rodlick, where's he? Same place as always. Fagel but a state. Losing his last crowns at the races. See, wasn't that easy. Could have said so right away. That fucking damn. Rude motherfuckers. What was it? How tell you this city of ours? So you just step off, really. Oh wow, this is very far away. Um, 
Twenty-six going to Hierarchy Square. God, that's far. Mm -hmm. It's a big estate, so I'm just going to head towards the square. Or they burn people. Alrighty. And Vigo Bud, let's dance. Here we go. Can I run, please? Thank you. Alrighty. Excuse me. Henri Rotlick, artist, painter, debtor, and martyr to my art, at your service. Dandelion sent me. A oh, text yeah. message. To tell him his placards are done and safely hidden away. Yet, alas, I cannot fetch them, as a group of angry creditors has seized my home. Think I might have run into one of them. Then you know my predicament. And now, Count de Louverton has offered me the chance to win it all back. I'm the wager on a race. Who's he? Generous. Not just anybody could afford to do that. De Louverton is not just anybody. He's Duke Sam's youngest son. Sam of the well-known family of gem dealers. One debt more or less makes little difference to him. Huh. What's there to worry about? This is your chance to settle up, get a clean slate. I've had a spell of bad luck lately. Should I agree to De Louverton's offer and lose, I shall be in bondage to him for all time. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Okay, we'll do a race, just to say fuck you guys. Let's do this. I'll enter the race. You'll bet on me, win, pay your debts, then give me the placards. You are that good a rider. Far from the worst. Go tell the Count you accept his offer. I got your back, man. Two. One. Go. What? Can you... Walk in? No! Bad! I need to get ahead of you, but, sir. Thank you. Take the corners. Take the corners. Take the Taking them corners. Okay, doing good. Gonna slow down a little bit. Gonna slow down a little bit. I'm getting my stamina up. About to go up to the final stretch, I think. Let's go ahead and do it. Hi! Hey man. Got this. Can see the finish line. Yeah, it's pretty easy. Yep, there we go. Whoa! Whoa! Indeed. Thank you. I I never expected this. May I ask to what I owe Whoa. this generosity? This one crazy. Let's just say I like to do a good deed from time to time. Can we get those placards now? I'll bring them to the Rosemary and Tyne. Just as soon as I settle my obligations. Fine. See you there. Yeah. There's another quest above me. I'm interested to see what it is at least. I need to get up here. Oh, it's Ingle. Uh, it's Ingle Bud. What's up? Greetings. Greetings. Have you come to race or are you merely a spectator? Haven't decided. Speak to the race master if you decide to compete. Ah, okay. A shame, really. I'd like to see someone knock that conceited brat down a peg. I'm not really here to do that. I'm sorry. That's not my day. I didn't even know I was here, like, a long time ago. To do, uh, quests. Um, what was it? I can't remember what the quest was for exactly. I was trying to find somebody that knew about Dandelion pretty much. 
That's about it. I think that was about it, yeah. Gotta go through here again. Put that crossbow down. Ooh, this place looks nice. That's a dandelion. Well, well. See, the crew's been hard at work. Not bad. I love it. Especially the, uh, accoutrements on the wall. What about Rotlick? Did you get the placards? Rotlick said he'd bring them on his own. Should be here soon. Great! The best way I can think of to promote the chameleon. The chameleon? Never mentioned wanting to change the name. Rosemary and Time wasn't all bad, but it conjured images of Temerian cuisine served by waitresses in peasant garb. Yeah. The chameleon's a lot better for a cabaret, apart from which it emphasizes that the place has undergone a transformation. Just a better ring to it all round. The chameleon. I like it. And what about the choreography? What about choreography? Prepared anything special for the opening? We have it. But Polly has. She's priceless. Came in and brought the girls in line before I could say knickers. Okay. Now they'll have the audience on their feet, on their knees, both at the same time. On their feet and knees? It's kind of an odd position. Guess everything's ready. So when's the opening? Soon. We start our dress rehearsal in an hour. I just need to nip back home for my dress. You gonna nip? Thanks for everything. Don't mention it. Seems my cabaret dreams are about to come true. So, around to celebrate? I'm buying. Yeah! Gladly, man. Why not? That's my boy. The foreman mentioned he saw you and Priscilla talking. He saw right. And... She say anything about me? You want the truth? She said something that made me think she's not entirely normal. <laughs> what? That you're responsible. Got your feet planted firmly on the ground. You're pulling my leg. Not this time. <laughs> I know, right? One thing's eating me. How do you manage to get the loan from Sophronia? Oh, wasn't easy. She got so excited about our performance, I had to read to her for four hours. Four hours from the cloak and the dagger. You mean you didn't? Are you crazy? Who do you think I am? You're an artist. It's your craft. That's what you do. She's late, of course. She knew how important this night was to me. Of course she did. Probably just making herself gorgeous. Takes time to hide. So it's true. A woman's vanity knows no bounds. Wow. Okay, calm down. Oh, it's the dandelion. Priscilla, she's... What? Speak, man. She's badly, uh, been attacked. They, they took her to Vomerius Hospital. Attacked? She's hurt? Geralt, come with me, please. Of course, let's go. The hell happened, man? Gods. We just went through a door. Priscilla. Is she gonna live? Well, I'd say that's certain. Her condition's critical but stable. I beg your pardon, but you are a relative? A relative? No, a friend. A very close friend. Dandelion, correct? She uttered the name in her few moments of lucidity. I am Joachim von Graz, head of surgery. Von Graz. Until recently, a lecturer at Oxenfurt Academy. Enough of the courtesies. What are her injuries, besides her eye? A concussion, cranial swelling, incision into her larynx, and scalding mm. inside the throat and esophagus. What? Clearly someone forced her to imbibe a caustic fluid. What the fuck, man? So this was no ordinary attack, no robbery. Clearly not. 
It was the act of a demented mind, and not its first. How can you know that? 